Yo, what is up guys, Gamlin here, and welcome back to my video. So today, we're going to be showing you how to set up a Just Cause 3 multiplayer version for the beta of 0.9.4. Now, it's the same as beta 0.9.3, but I'm not quite sure you'd want to set up a 9.3 server as we're on 9.4 now. Anyway, so you want to go to this URL, I'll put it in the description, and you want to click I have accept and read the EULA and privacy policy, because we all have because we can't start a server without reading them. So you want to click Windows, as this is a Windows tutorial. Now I could do a Linux one on the VM if there's enough requests for it, but I'm not going to do it if I don't need to. Anyway guys, so you want to go into your downloads and extract this file. Now you want to extract it to your documents or your desktop, but I'm doing it for downloads for demonstration purposes. Now it shouldn't take too long, it's only a small file, so there you go. Now you want to go into your file and launch the server.exe. No, if the server.exe closes after like a second or so, you probably don't have Steam installed on the machine. You need Steam installed and running to run the server. So let's uh, double click this and let it run. Voila, look at that, beautiful. And just close that. Now technically your server was working then, um, but it won't get displayed on the master list, which is basically the server in-game browser. So what you want to do to let that go in there, I guess, um, you want to go to servers, auth key, and then you want to generate a new auth key. I'm going to delete my old one because I don't need that anymore. And we're going to generate new auth key. So this is going to be Gamlin's tutorial server. Just name it whatever your server name is going to be. IP, I just go to Google and type IP because it's reliable enough for me. Some people go to what's my IP, but I just use that because it works. Next up, we want to do the server port, which is usually 4200. I just leave it at that because it's easy and it works, so why mock it? So you want to create the auth key. There you go, you got one. Next up, you want to go to docs, and then add in your server to the server browser. Here you can find the master list package, which you want to download. Now this is an 8 meg file, so it's again quite small, and there you go. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads, copy this into your packages folder inside your server directory, so you got your server.exe, packages right there, and you just want to paste that there. Once that's copied and pasted, you want to extract the files uh, using 7-zip or WinRAR or Slant. You can't use the default Windows thing as far as I'm aware, so you're going to need some other app to do it. But I just use WinRAR because I love that juicy free trial. Except I'm not even on the free trial. RIP. Anyway, so that's done. Then you want to go into the master list package. And you want to go to config.json. Now if you open it in just notepad, it looks a bit aw uh, awkward. Well, I guess it is awkward and ugly. So I just open it in notepad++ because it looks a lot better. Um, so what you want to do is put your server name as whatever you had it as. So mine's Gamlin Tutorial Server. And then you want to have the description at whatever you want. So um, this... Oh, oh no, don't do that. This is a server for tutorial things on the YouTube, the U of Tube. And then you want to put your auth key which we generated earlier, which can be found in servers, auth keys, well, hey, we're a pro at this. So just copy that and put it in here. Now the image, it has to have certain dimensions and sizes and, well, there's some restrictions, so let me just go find one I made earlier. Okay, here we go, here's the image. So if we go to file information, we can see that the dimensions are 610 pixels wide and 250 tall. It's a PNG and its size is 209 kilobytes. Now you've got to make sure the size is under 220 and the dimensions are that, and it is a PNG. If you make a PNG that is over that file size, I recommend just going to an image online, well, an online image optimizer. Um, that's what I did, and it works like a charm. So you can just put the URL by uploading it to Imgur or sign in there, um, as they have. So you just want to save that. Voila, beautiful. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to make ourselves admin. So what you want to do is go to packages, uh, free roam, GM, and then config.js. Again, open this in Notepad++. I think it actually works in Notepad, but I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so here we have the admins and some other random stuff. You could add a custom def reasons, I guess. Um, like, I don't know. Let's see. Um, destroyed. Yeah, that sounds nice. Gambling destroyed someone. 
Um, you just want to put it in with apostrophes. Um, but the important thing we're looking at is admin. So you want to put a comma at the end there and put two apostrophes there. Now the comma is important um, for formatting reasons, I believe. So there you go, just so it knows that a new line has started and stuff. Um, but yeah, so all you want to do is you want to go find your Steam ID. So what I'm going to Google is Steam ID Finder. Finder, Finder works. Um, now I use steamid.io because it's pretty simple, but there are a few available like that and that. But what we want to find is our Steam ID 64. So I'm going to put in my custom URL, which is Gambling Games. And here it is, Steam ID 64. So you just want to copy that to your clipboard and put it in these apostrophes and save that again. The next thing we want to do is open this in our firewall. So what we're going to do is go to the search and type firewall and open that. So once that's opened, if it opens, it should do. Hello, firewall. There it is. Um, you want to go to advanced settings inbound rules and we want we want to make two new rules so let's make them so they're both ports the first one is 420 remember that's the server port you want to allow the connection next next just cause free mp now you can name that what you want just make sure it's related to just cause free multiplayer so you know what it is um, then we want to make a new rule and this one is for steam this will be 4202 next next steam and there we go one more thing so you got to know for version 0.9.4 is you got to add a chat package. Um, now mine is in, I get mine through the announcements tab in the Discord, which is here. Um, you just, I'll put this link in the description, you just download the whole pack chat package. Go to your downloads and you want to extract it, like so. And you only want certain files. So if we go into packages and then chat. We'll split screen these, shall we? And then we can see the difference. So what we want to do is copy everything in here. Well, we want to copy everything that's in here, which is the same in here. Basically, we want to copy that. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of awkward, actually. That, 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 and that. So you just want to drag them in. This is from the package we downloaded into the server. Um, this will hopefully make the chat work. So there we go. That's all done. Now let's launch the server and see if it works. All right, so the chat's been loaded fine, and it's been announced to the master list. So let's go find out if it's on there. So we want Gamlin. Here we go, Gamlin's tutorial server. Perfect. So now we're going to go jump on it in game. So let's launch the game. Now my my game my recording might lag when doing this because it doesn't like recording just cause three um, hosting the server at the same time so we're going to see how it goes it's not going to be smooth but hey uh, at least the server will work now hopefully you guys are ho uh, hosting on the external host or something so you should be fine but it's just just for recording okay so now it's loaded we want to go to server browser and find gambling suture or server it'll probably be near the bottom there it is um and then we're just gonna I can't connect to it through the server browser because my router doesn't support loopback, so I can't use the IP it gives me here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect locally. Now you should probably do the same if you're connecting locally, if it's hosted on the same PC you're playing on. But if you're playing on a server, you should be able to click on the connect button. So what I do is just type that and click connect. Now let's go transfer some files and we're going to load in. Um, probably lagging like hell on the on the recording, so I'm sorry about that, but. It's not lagging for me, so it's okay. Oh, nice, we're at the river. Okay, no. So let's go down and test some shit, like, see if we're admin and stuff. So one admin command we know is slash m. This will make a big message in chat, and there you go. Gambling, hello, and you also have a star in your name if you check the leaderboard. Anyway, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. You now have your very own Just Cause 3 multiplayer beta server. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like rating and comment down below um, if you didn't enjoy this tutorial. Anyway guys, that's it for today, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.